So you are on the market searching for the best power pads for your electric unicycle, your EUC, but you don't know which one you should purchase or even should I purchase some power pads for my electric unicycle. And I have here a few options. I have here the Clark pads, I have here the new ones from Bigot, the Bigot power pads and also the Emotion power pads, but I use much more than this, even DIY ones. What is my experience about all of these? Do I really need them and which one is the best for the money? that you are spending. If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love EUCs, PEVs and everything that have a E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about a product that not a long time ago I simply hated. I really hate power pads, so also something that I need to say is something that I normally avoid to install. If you was asking me do you want to put some power pads on your wheels, I'll say to you no, I don't want. And I continue to think that if your wheel is not really powerful, like I continue to use my V8F, is definitely not something that that you need and that I encourage you to do it because when you use power pads on your electric unicycle is to really take forward that device to do even more. So when we look in the past when I was saying to you that I simply hated power pads was in the time that it was not so easy to get a 100 volts wheels but now you have Emotion doing it with the V12 that I have reviewed if you don't have seen definitely check that video. Also if you look to Gotway we already know that 100 volts is a standard in these days and when you look to Veteran and also I believe Kingsong will do it with the um, uh, S16 and S20 at least is the information that I have is the two wheels that they are coming out and maybe they will reach uh, 127 volts at least is what is on the table at the moment. When faster you go also harder you need to break and that becomes harder and harder if you don't have anything to support you and to lock your legs in place. So that's why I start using them and also many wheels like the V12 is le really really slippery so you need that extra help to allow you to brake better. Obviously one thing that I have to say about power pads is that we are all different. So my legs are different than yours, I'm much smaller. So also where I put the power pads can completely change. So if your opinion is completely different than mine, you also need to understand that my legs maybe they are thinner than yours. So I need the power pads much higher than for you. So looking for these three ones that I have here, the Emotion power pads, the Bigot power pads and the Clark power pads Gen 2 I believe. Why are my three favorites and what I like more in one than the other and you will start to understand that. So let's talk about the Emotion ones and why I like so much these ones but they are not completely perfect. First of all if you have a small wheel like for example the MSP they work really well, but they are already very, very close to the top of your wheel, but they are really good in quality. I had like, I hit with the wheel sometimes with the power pads and they continue to look really, really good. I don't recommend leather ones because every time that you hit the floor, you'll start damaging the leather. So that's why I don't think that is the right materials for power pads. But these ones, I would like to have seen that the back is completely straight and doesn't curve back. So what happened is when I'm riding with these power pads, I need to drop them like this until the back is completely straight. I like to have this part very close to my leg constantly and having this length to just move my leg in front because I don't like the fact that this is always hitting my leg when I'm riding when I get a hole or something like that so that's why I like to have this very close to the brakes I know that many of you guys also likes to ride this close to the speed and it's a little bit more on the back so when you try to brake and sit back you will have more possibility to bring more weight on the back of your electric unicycle to brake harder but it's not the way that I feel safe so everyone is different everyone rides in a different way why I think that the emotion one is better than one that is really popular between you guys that you use for example on the Sherman constantly the ones that comes with the Sherman they are simply rubbish that one the material is a little bit too hard this one is softer but it's hard anyway so even when your leg it hits here you feel some comfort and definitely is a pro that I feel in here Another thing that I think it could be better is on the braking side. I think they could be a little bit thicker and in that way you will have more surface giving you that 
that comfort and I think that is a little bit too soft for braking so that is the disadvantage of these power pads but let's move on for the next one and this one I have to say to you guys the Bigot power pad I never saw anybody using it and I never saw any review of this one and also I was not really expecting what to get from this one and is definitely one of my favorites. First of all, if you have a small wheel like the MSP, this looks really nice because it doesn't take almost any space. If you put side by side with the Emotion, you can see the difference is very very small I had to do some changes because I'm, I was not 100% happy with this one but you'll understand when we talk about durability you can see that this is a bit damaged here because I have an accident with a guy on a rental electric scooter that just smashed against me uh, hearing music and this really hit really hard the floor and that is no damage at all it just damaged this part so definitely a pro that you have on this and when I saw this through my distributor that sent me those ones to test it out so thank you very much high-end scooters you are simply amazing for everything that you've been doing for this channel in these very very hard times of Brexit and he sent me these ones to test it out it's a very very interesting solution first of all they are not really expensive they give you that thing that I said even if I put here next to the Clark you can see that the clasps are much much bigger so if you want something that is low profile this you have on these ones the material it's similar sensation that you have here but the brake is my favorite brake even if I talk about the clasps and we'll get there so when you are using these ones what I've done I put this softer material on the front and the back like I said when you put this velcro I need to put some more glue here but when you use this velcro it gives you that grip that you want but also is going to get taller so these parts they are not really touching but I want to have like some flexibility on the front and on the back so like I said every time that the legs hit that part I like to feel a bit of movement and after I want that the material will not bend more than that it's just to give that extra comfort and also so what this is doing is when you touch the, the, the wheel, it just curves a bit more inside, giving me the sensation that I had in a certain way from the DIY power pads that I was using on the EX and the EXN that was that curvature. This can give me a bit. So this length between the leg is my favorite. If I put in here you'll be able to see that the Clark pad are bigger so they have more space and that was one of the things that I didn't like about the Clark pads that will go there but this one this length is perfect and another thing that I think you guys can see there is this pattern in the middle so even if it's flat and it doesn't give that curvature that I like it from the DIY ones that I was using on the EX and EXN that they were not perfect I didn't like the way that you have to brake on those ones but to accelerate I really like it this pattern gives you an extra grip that none of these two power pads they give me so let's talk about the Clark pads and by the way if you want to purchase any of this they are discounted on the channel so feel free in that way you are also helping me to continue to bring all those kind of content for you but if you want to buy the Clark pads or all the other power pads or pedals or whatever they have some discounts there even gear protections feel free to check it out but let's continue to talk about the Clark pads and what I like and what I don't like so first of all they are not cheap and I was expecting to be honest a, a better look I was expecting that will look more premium that don't look so much 3d printed but they continue to look and they continue to feel it so not really convinced about it on that part is really really flexible material I thought this was much much harder material so that was a good thing and uh, let's talk about the negatives that I didn't like so much so for my riding style this one is a little bit more narrow than the Clark pads but that brings also a benefit so if you need to curve really really tight with the Clark pads it feels more natural because when you are curving really tight you do this to your legs okay so you need more motion when you are using the big odds or even the emotion is a little bit more tight than on the Clark pads so definitely something that I like it on this one but when you are just purely 
accelerating and braking that is something that I do constantly and I'm not a low speed rider so I really like to ride fast I found that this takes me longer to just reach my acceleration because like I said my leg is always really close to the braking comparing my favorite braking that was this one of Bigot with the Clark pads this part here like you can see it's really really flexible and I didn't like so what I think they should have done is putting this hard part in this top part but I understand why it's in here because it's for giving you a better grip to jump and to lift it up your electric unicycle that is really really easy to do with these ones and by the way I've been using all these power pads on my MSP high speed so in that way is exactly the same experience when we talk about the wheel and performance but different experience using the power pads and these power pads brought me something that I was really not expecting so if you ride an MSP you know that is a wheel that brings a lot of wobbles with this one I believe that is the design that you have in here on the front the air is just pushed down and it makes your wheel more stable something that I was not really expecting to feel uh, with these power pads or with any power pads that was a very interesting discovery that I've done with the Clark pads but overall they are simply simply amazing another thing if you love to jump that I need to say is every single time that you jump your feet goes more and more on the front because I use the bigot pedals they are more closed and my feet goes more and more there and get stuck so I use my right side to just put on the floor every time that I want to stop and one time I, I couldn't take out my feet from there so that was something that I really didn't like it using the Clark pads that I never felt with any power pads that I have and that I own and even ones that I had during the time that I was testing other wheels so really really interesting I really hate the price but obviously you have the discount there it's a very complete unit but you can purchase two sets of this one uh, for the price of this I believe and I think is even you have even more because after you have to purchase this from United States and that can become really really pricey so just have that in consideration let me know which ones you are using at the moment you are using Clark pads bigot emotion power pads which ones do you use and by the way which wheel are you using and what is your thoughts about these three options that I brought to you today my name is Marco this is Matt Peck if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one.